Hi, in this video, I'm looking at deriving the vector and Cartesian equations for a straight line passing through two points in three dimensions. So I've got a 3D Cartesian axis set up and I've got my line and my two points that are on that line A and B. And from this, we can get a vector and a parametric equation and then from that we can get a Cartesian equation for this line in terms of the coordinates of these two points. So first I'm going to name the coordinates for point A, A1, A2 and A3 and I'll do the same for point B as well, it's going to be B1, B2 and B3 for base XYZ for each of them. And if we start off thinking about this as a vector problem, I can define this line in terms of vectors from the origin to these points. So if I have my vector, vector A, which would normally be a bit straighter than that, I can define A as being A1, I, A2, J, and A3, K. And I've also got vector B going to point B from the origin, which is B1i, B2j, and B3k. And to basically work out the line, if I go and also get another vector, which goes from A to B, and I'll call that vector D, because it's basically going to represent the distance from A to B in the direction of the line. So A to B as a vector, we're going to call D, and that's going to be given to us by doing B minus A, because that's how we get the vector from one point to another. So D is going to be, if I do this, it's going to be B1 minus A1 i plus b2 minus a2 j plus b3 minus a3 k and so that's defined vector d and where vector d comes in very helpful is i can use vector addition with multiples of d and one of these two vectors for example, if I want to get, say, this point down here, this point, and we're going to just temporarily call it P, well, I can get from the origin to point P by, say, going up vector A, and then along vector D, and along vector D again, well, and add on another D. So I've got a D here getting me from B to P, because they're the same distance. So this point would be a plus two lots of d to get me to where p is or if p was say up here somewhere say up here then i could do a minus of a d because i'm going in the opposite direction or if i was you know in the middle i could add on say only half a d or if i was here i could do one and a half d's so by adding multiples of D onto A, I can get from the origin up to A and then anywhere on that line. So that means that I can write my vector equation for this line, which we denote R, to be the vector A plus K lots of the vector D, where K is just some parameter that defines the length, or that defines how many lots of Ds I've gone along to get to a certain point. And as k can be any real number, so k is just an element of the reals, I can have any infinitesimal point on this line giving me, through all the k's, the entire line. So that gives us the vector equation for this line. I can also look at breaking this up into its components. So a is defined as a1i, a2j, a3k, and d is defined up here, which we created. 
So if I play around with our vector r here, I can get a1i plus a2j plus a3k plus k lots of our vector d here coming down, giving us b1 minus a1i plus b2 minus a2j plus b3 minus a3k. And so that would be another form of our vector equation. And if we look at trying to simplify this, we can get it a little bit simpler by doing our additions. If I add the i terms, then I would get a1 plus k lots of b1 minus a1 times i. And then the same for all of them, I might use square brackets, a2 plus k lots of b2 minus a2 k plus a3 plus k lots of b3 minus a3 k. Whoops, I accidentally used j up here. I'll uh, just quickly erase that and let's put that as j because we want that to be j not k. So that would be the expanded version of this vector equation. So this also is the vector equation. A bit more complex to look at than a plus kd, but it means that we know where to put the numbers in if we haven't predefined everything up the top. Though it's probably easier to do that anyway. The convenient thing of doing this though is if I move on from this, I can get a parametric equation. A parametric equation is simply one that goes, what is the value for x? What is the value for y? And what is the value for z in terms of a parametric variable, which we have k as our parametric variable? And our vector gives us the x component here, a1 plus k lots of b1 minus a1. And the y part here, a2 plus k lots of b2 minus a2, and the same for the z. So this is the parametric form, which is the same as the vector form. It's just instead of writing it as a vector, we just write it as our three equations that together make up the one equation. And the nice thing about this parametric form is we can do a little bit of rearranging to try and get a single Cartesian equation. But to get that single Cartesian equation, I need to know something that's consistent between them all. And the only thing that is the same between them all is k. So if we isolate k in these three equations, so for example, if I start off with the x1, I can minus off a1 off of both sides and then divide both sides by b1 minus a1, and that'll give us k. And I can do the same with the y's. The y's will give me y minus a2 on b2 minus a2. And the z's will give me z minus a3 on b3 minus a3 to give me k. So now I've got these three expressions for k, and because k is the same number, it doesn't change from one expression to the next, it means that these three statements here are equal. It means that x minus a1 on b1 minus a1 is the same as y minus a2 on b2 minus a2, and is the same as z minus a3 on b3 minus a3. And this is what gives us our Cartesian form or our Cartesian equation for our 3D line. And the only thing that we can do to make this any nicer is just simplify the denominators. We've got b1 minus a1, b2 minus a2, and b3 minus a3, which if you look are the three components of our d. So we could just call this d1i plus d2j plus d3k. 
and therefore rewrite our vector, uh, sorry, our Cartesian equation down the bottom here as x minus a1 on d1 equals y minus a2 on d2 equals z minus a3 on d3. And those together give us our Cartesian form in two different ways. So there we go. From using simple vector addition geometry, we can define a parametric vector equation, a parametric equation, and a Cartesian equation for a straight line in three dimensions.